I mean, either they're all from China, like China's spying on us, or you know, the aliens are they're they're getting ready to invade. Um, so it's 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 an exciting time. Who knows what's going on? Keep going. Play E4 playing Box Box, the inventor of the Gucci piano nickname. Neither is Ronnie's Waffer for the 14. Tim Cannon for the $50 gifted to the Turkish philanthropy fund as well. Yeah, no, because what happens with the earthquake is yeah, you feel it and it's like I'm I'm asleep, it happens in the middle of the night, I feel it, and it's just like, oh man, there's an earthquake, and then it's just like, okay, and then I go right back to sleep, right back to dreaming, and it's all good. I mean, it was there was one that was scary. The one in Japan when I was there in like 2011, it was like middle of the day. It was like 11 a.m. or something, um, and I was in a hotel. I was there with my mom, and we were on like the 11th floor or something. So the beds were a little bit shaky, and that that was a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie, that one was a little bit scary. Um, you're like on the 11th floor of a building, and you, you feel like uh, you, you feel feel the bed shaking a little bit. It's like eh. you hope that like <laughs> you hope that something doesn't break and you don't die. Uh, thank you so much to triple 19 for the five months. I can take the bishop here. I can also go c3. Let's just take. If the earthquake happens in her, during the day, do you fall asleep? No. But yeah. Go bishop e3, hit the queen. Dream takes, 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 check, takes mate. Yeah. Go knight d2, knight c4. Go bishop e2, maybe f4 here. Scariest moment in my life. I mean, I've been lucky. I haven't had any like really scary moments, but one, one example that I would use was way back in the Stone Age, back when I was in St. Louis. And um, uh, like I was in St. Louis and I was trying to go to like uh, just a local store. Uh, it was a schnook store. It's across from this Basilica in the Central West End. And I just walked, it was like a five minute walk or something like that. And um, so I, I go out, I go out, I, I go walking over. There's like maybe like 9.30. It's not like crazy hour or anything. And basically the, the light's red and um, play c4 here the light's red so I, I wait for it to turn turn to walk and the signal turns to walk and I start crossing and basically a guy like a guy who's like at the red light they start like flashing their lights at me like I've done something wrong as I'm crossing the street and then it's like I, I'm just heading towards schnooks and the person like I, I could see them like they were just following me in their truck all the way until like I, I got in the schnooks and it was like absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous um let's play b4 here I can play b5 and also just play like rook d2 here, maybe b5. Uh, let's just go a3 here, guard all the pawns. It's all pretty good. I think it's over that pretzel for the prime, then you play Jackson TV for the prime. So, okay, have I ever visited Ukraine? Yes, I played a tournament in Ukraine in, um, I played this ACP tournament in, I want to say 2005 maybe? It was in, in, um, I think it was in Odessa. Uh, it was in, it was in Odessa, so... I did play a tournament in Ukraine. It was very nice. I enjoyed it. It was great. You're from New York. You don't have any horrifying moments. No, I actually don't. I mean, like, I don't. Like, I, I, I've had. I there were there were times I was. It's like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and I'm I'm in I'm in the Bronx walking. Uh, you know, on a cold winter night, and I didn't feel scared at all. I didn't feel scared at all. I felt completely at home. So, I mean, maybe that makes me like weird or something. But no, New York. I've never I've never actually felt really scared there. I think it drippy for the four months. So, yeah. Good check, check and mate box box. Let's keep going. Uh, we have four more, I think, before we hit an even number. Let's play. Who? Who? Who is this? What? Sorry, who is who is Harry Mack? Uh, let's go Bishop F4 and E3. Oh, he's a rapper? Okay. Sorry, I mean, I actually don't know who, who this guy... I mean, I, I don't know who he is. Is he on Twitch or something or on YouTube? Like, because all these are supposed to be personalities. Good night, PD2. Ah, he's a freestyle. Okay. He's like low-budget Drake. Okay. Thank you so much to Danish for the 420 and Ulan Kalufid for the $50 that have been gifted to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund. 
Thank you so much to Banthic for the tier one. Thank you so much to Play95 here. What do I think about UFOs? Well, I don't know, you guys. Um, I watched the X Files growing up, and honestly, with all these all these uh, UFOs in the sky that are being shot down, I don't know. I mean, I mean, either they're all from China, like China's spying on us, or you know, the aliens are they're they're getting ready to invade. Um, so it's 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 an exciting time. Who knows what's going on? Let's play Queen G2 here. Thank you, PB Chess for the 14th. Thank you, Max Rune for the Prime. Appreciate it. Um, let's play Bishop G3 and Bishop H4. <laughs> um, let's go Bishop H4 here. Yeah. Uh, play a4 here. Go bishop c2. I will say I find it kind of weird though that somehow with all this, like they're not saying what they've shot down, and I, f I find it weird that they're not saying anything about it. Um, I, that, that's what I will say. I feel like they, I feel like it's kind of weird, honestly. That like they they suddenly suddenly they're shooting down these objects immediately. Uh, versus before when they let it just float over the U.S. And I know, like, the people say this. It's, it's because, like, you don't want casualties and everything, which is fine. But now suddenly they're just, like, shooting everything down out of nowhere. And it's just, like, kind of makes you wonder what's going on. Play G5 here. Taking me Bishop G6. Uh, I think I'll just take here and go H7 or Queen G6. Let's go H7. Um, next game, let's play against Tectony. Play D4 here. I think there's a storm. 50-39 for the prime. Let's play E4 here. Now, these are a lot of the personalities of people that I um, I did not interact with because I was not involved with PogChamps 4. I think this is PogChamps 4 that these people are from. Um, so that's why I'm not super familiar with them. So here, maybe Knight E2, maybe E5, Queen G4 as well. What do I think of Steven Greer's documentary? I don't know, you guys. I mean, everything that I know about UFOs is from watching The Greatest Show Ever, The X-Files. Thank you so much to Michelle for the Prime. Thank you so much. Let's go A3 here. Uh, let's just go F4, F5. Uh, mm -hmm. Loss is better. Dude, seriously. Loss is better. Yeah, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that, dude. Let's just take and go Bishop E4. Go here, win the knight, end the game. Yeah, Tectoni not playing very well here. He's just going to lose this game very, very soon. Take the pawn. Let's take the rook. I will play Levy soon. Is there a Levy bot? I didn't think there was. And Levy definitely wouldn't be in this group. I mean, let, let's be fair. Uh, Le Levy is not 1,000 rated. Okay. Take the pawn. What do I think of Steven Greer's documentary? I don't even know what that is, so I have no idea. It's checkmate in one here. Okay, we have... How many more? Let's play... Code Miko. Okay. Play F4 here. Do I enjoy the chess champions turn? Well, I wasn't even looking. G5. Um, let's play knight to e5 here. What is your Twitch elo? I don't have a Twitch elo, you guys. Play some blitz. Uh, not right now. We're, we're, we're starting our bot speed run. And I'm going to update the score in a second because we've actually won against eight of the personalities. So it'll be up to 47 very soon. Let's go knight f2 and e4. Why am I playing so weak bots? Because we're because it's a bot speedrun. We're trying to beat every single bot on chess.com. And at some point, once we get to the really hard ones, none of them will be easy. Even Robert Hess bot is quite difficult from what I remember to beat. Let's go 94. After takes, I just take. It's all pretty good. Um, let's go H3, try to win the pawn because there's knight f6 and queen takes queen. Do I play three check chess? I have. Um yeah, Robert has spotted it. I, I think I lost it. Yeah, this is bad. Hess is, Hess, of course, Hess is a terrible chess player. He lost to my brother, who's only 2,200. I mean, that, that's pretty terrible. Like, there's no there's no way of sugarcoating it. I mean, even Levy lost my brother. So, yeah, what, what can I say? Let's play Bishop E3 here. Um, F5, I guess I'll just go uh, G4 here. <laughs> um take the pawn at f5 do i like bullet or blitz more i like bolt i like blitz a lot more than bullet yeah go check and f6 of course 
This disrespect speedrun. Yeah, it's starting to venture a little bit in that direction. Disrespect speedrun inclusion. I agree. Let's take. Uh, am I good at math? No, I'm not actually good at math. I, I don't like math. I like I like history. I like like the, the the arts. The arts. Take the rook. Time to resign. Maybe your brother is just better. Oh, that's obviously possible. I mean, that wouldn't be surprising. There we go. Okay, one more, and then I'll update the score. This will be 10 more. Let's see. We have Nico. Play D4. I like to play... Uh, when I play serious events, like the, the Air Things Masters, I like playing with Increment. Um, if I'm just playing casually, like Title Tuesday, I, lo I love 3-0. I, I love 3-0. Um, but it just depends whether it's serious or whether it's more like on the casual side. That's it. Both are fine. Um... Go here on bishop c4. Hit the queen. Levy and Eric are in the same category. Yeah, they're in the once I get to that category, it gets very nasty, very difficult. Because that's where like uh Idios Mirena. Uh let's play Queen D6 here. Um yeah, once it gets to that area, all the bots are pretty strong. I think the Levy bot I beat pretty easily um from what i can recall but i feel like there, there's a robert has bot which is which i recall is quite difficult have i ever had tamales of course i've had tamales i'm gonna go g4 g5 just attack here no it's not actually a diss um you say has this bad and you're making eighteen thousand people watch an 800 rated bot what do you mean Hess looks unhappy broadcasting next to how I haven't seen any of the commentary. Um, I don't know. I mean, for, for Bobby, it's obviously a little bit different. Let me update the score as well. This will be 10. So this means it's 47. There we go. And let's keep going. The, let's see. Are there more bot, more of the personalities that are stronger? Oh, okay. Let's play Andrea. Okay. Let's play Andrea. Here we go. Andrea is 1801, or at least the bot says she's 1801. Things that sells interlinked for the nine months. Appreciate it. Oh, what happened? Did she move? Did it glitch? Let's refresh. Maybe it glitched. Um, okay. Okay, let's play E5 here. I think it's that Mata Hunkin for the tier one. Let's play C6 here, try to build a big black center again. Okay, D4, I'll take and play D5. How do that how do that care for the bot as a person based on the games? Uh, I don't know how they make the bots, but they do. Go here. Do your brother's kids play chess? He only has one one child, and I don't believe she plays chess. I mean, I, I honestly I don't uh wait. Go h6 here. Because takes I have rook h7 trap in the queen. I'll just keep developing here. Andrea completely missed playing this. I've gotten perfect development. Let's just go d4 to kick the queen. And now I have Bishop D5. I mean, Andrea is going to lose this game very quickly, I think. I mean, maybe not super quickly, but this looks quite bad. I even have G5 here. Well, let's just play traditional with castles. And then just Bishop E4 to kick the queen out of town. And I also have D3. Actually, I should have played this right away. Why didn't I? It's still very, very bad. Um, now, I can, I can flick in A6 here as a move. I think I should. Yeah, let's flick this move in because I takes, I take, take, and then I win the knight. I can also play rook b8. D takes e2 should be just very good. I mean, there's knight takes e4. I take with queen. I take, take, and then I have bishop g3. I think takes and bishop g3 should just be winning. Because now after white takes, I just take the uh, knight. So queen c3, bishop e5. After we trade, I'm still winning the game here. Did Hikaru win the last event? No, I finished in second place in the Air Things Masters. The Rook E8, hit the Queen. Even material in the Rook for the Bishop. Open files, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. She hasn't sacked her Queen yet. Bot is unrealistic. Right. Let's go here, stack the two towers, and win the game very, very soon. Rook E8. We'll go here, hit the Pawn on F2. I could have checked first, I guess. Go rook e5. Idea to play rook g5. Maybe queen e2 as well. 
Mm, that was a slight mistake. Not a big mistake, but a slight mistake, I guess, by me. Go check. I mean, even King H7 is just very good here. I just don't want to allow any weird tricks where I'm losing. Rook D5. I have Queen C1 check. Let's go check. There should be a way to win on the spot here. Let's go. Maybe not. Let's just trade. Let's keep it simple. No need to get fancy schmancy and create a clip. Let's go queen f4 and g6. Do I think ha ha Hess will clap back at you, OTB? What do you mean clap back at me? Robert doesn't play over the board chess. What are you talking about? Let's go g5 here. Let's take the pawn. Go here, put the pawn on a dark square so the bishop can't touch it. Go here, here, here. Have I played famous people IRL? I I'm, I'm probably have, but I, I, I don't even think about it. Can I win the next event? Of course I can win the next event if I play in it. I think there's a hat backwards guy for the tier one for 16 months. Thank you so much. Just go H2. I take and... Have I ever been star starstruck? Um, not really. Maybe once or twice, but not 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 really. No. Dork B two. Isn't Bill Gates the best chess player? No, he's not. You guys. I've told this story before because I, I think I've said it like probably a handful of times on stream. But I, I know someone who went to school um, at the same time as he did at Lakeside in, in Seattle, and they basically said like. He showed up at the club and he, he lost he lost the game and he left very very quickly let's play alexandra here we'll play with either color paul allen however was a real chess player he was probably like 16 1700. um okay let's play e6 here keep it simple play d5 um let's go i don't know why i'm playing standard chess but i am kind of for some weird reason here Go knight d7. Okay, c5. I will play c6, b6. There, there's no way this would ever occur, by the way. Let's go b6. Stick with a pawn here. Have I ever played against Albert Einstein? Very funny. Okay, bishop b5. Very logical move. Um, play. Now, I feel like the Alexander bot, I'm trying to remember, this bot is very tricky because as I recall, um, sometimes it actually played really, really well. And sometimes it was like, it wasn't all that great. It was very weird. Cause I remember when I played it before, I think I drew a game because it played like a perfect end game. Like it blundered in the middle game, but it played a perfect end game. So I do need to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna trade and go knight d7, of course. Hit the bishop. c4 is a move, queen a8 is also a move. c4, it looks like, yeah, I'm gonna go queen a8 here. Okay, now, I do have C4 here, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go C4 here. Maybe not the best move, but I'm going to play it anyway. All right, and now I go... I might go Queen C6 to hit the Knight. Okay, A4. Yeah, like, I remember this bot for some reason. It's not... It's very weird the way it plays. Like, sometimes it plays perfect moves, and sometimes it plays very bad moves. Uh, I guess I'll go... Oh, wait, no, I can't go there. Let's go here to hit the Bishop. Rook A8 allows Knight C7. Tip C7 looks wrong. Um, it does look kind of wrong. I guess I'll go here to hit the bishop. Probably G4. G5. I'll go here, knight D7 maybe. Knight D8. I'm going to try to trade the pieces here in the center of the board. I have rook A8 maybe hit the pawn now the question is do i play knight d6 or bishop d6 my assumption is i play bishop d6 because i want to get rid of this knight essentially maybe we should x201 for the two thing you turn a king for the prime okay now though i think i go knight c7 and now white has some issues here potentially b3 i think i can play b5 here still tricky though yeah i'm gonna go b5 though I think I go here. 
Yeah, see, this is this is this is what I remember. This bot is very tricky. Like it, it plays, um, like sometimes it plays perfectly. Like it's playing, it's actually playing this game nearly perfectly at the moment. Not perfectly, but very very well. Let's put it that way. So I guess I'll go here and then a three, then a two. Still a little bit tricky. I think a two is fine. But I have rook a three as well. Okay, rook a3, queen d2, knight fb6. Or do I just play knight e7, knight c6? Also an idea. Oh, knight e7, there's rook c7, though. I do have to be careful how I play this, but this looks fine. Rook c7, just queen queen d8. Why doesn't your channel show up on mobile? I, it doesn't? I don't know. I mean, basically, the problem with the bots as they get better is that it, what it comes down to is there's a certain point which it's like, I think it's more about uh, percentages than anything else, where it's like, it will blunder, but it's going to make one blunder randomly as opposed to playing, like, standard. Okay, now I should be better here if I'm precise. I have queen b3 and queen b1, which should be good, I guess. Yeah, let's go here, because takes, I go queen b1, check block, trade, trade, to make a queen. Queen c1, re very, very good move. Um, wow, queen c1, I didn't even see queen c1. I do have rook c8 here. Wait a second. Rook c8. Queen e1. I think rook c8 must be right. There's Oh, wait, no, no, wait. There's queen a3. No, then queen b... No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think this is good. Is queen d2, I have queen b1. Bishop c5. Knight c... What? What just happened? Am I still here? Whoa, what just happened? Did that was there just a freeze there, you guys? Wait, was that was that what just happened? I'm still here. That was right. Jeez. Yikes. Um. I'm still live, right? But I'm still live or not? I'm still live. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm live and good, so it's just like a temporary like glitch or something. Jeez. You're dead? Yeah, it was the aliens. Oh, uh, wait. So if I take, I'm threatening fork. I have a fork here. I should be winning. Now I go queen b1. And I win the game. There we go. Here's Shinigami for the fourth thing, a lieutenant prophet. I got really scared there for a second. I did, actually. I'm not going to lie. I got really, really scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm crazier to the winds never change. I'm going to update it in a second. Uh, let's go check. Yeah. Winds reset? No, there's no reset, was there? Wait, what happened to the winds? Wait, what? Huh? Okay. Chat disappeared from stream. One side. Let's play queen d3 and queen, queen f5. I didn't change anything. Yeah, I'm going to update the score in one second. Um, let's just go here. Okay, wait, what just happened? Yeah, okay, so it's 49. 